Anthrozoology is our newest major and our newest addition from a programmatic standpoint here at Beacon. This is a Bachelor's of Science program where we study and look at how humans and animals interact in many different contexts. So we look at companion animals, we look at captive wildlife, we look at conservation wildlife issues. So we don't focus on a single species uh, when we work with our students, but we look at multiple animals in multiple contexts and really prepare them for a career once they leave here working in an animal-related field of their interest and giving them you know, assets and skills that are transferable to any of the animal industries. I'm going to give you a time period, okay, I'll tell you when to start and I'll tell you when to stop, and you're going to record and you're going to make a tally of every time one of these behaviors occur. We are the second undergraduate institution in North America to offer this as a degree, and we're one of three in North America to offer it in total. And so it's a growing field of study. Uh, we're recognized by the International Society for Anthrozoology within our program, and all of our professors that teach in the program are members of that organization, and we're well connected to many individuals who teach in this area and who study this area. This here is Louie. <laughs> I got him from a rescue in Melbourne Beach, which is about three hours away from here. I'm a third year anthrozoology major here at Beacon College. I really love working with animals, interacting with them, and then talking to people about them. And it just, just felt right. What I can argue though is that the animal moved forward because of bug, right? I don't know why, right? That's why I'm doing this. I'm being able to analyze it and I can go back and look at it. Uh, you said the animal remains, remains stationary. Mm -hmm. But so, I'm not really sure if it's resting or? Correct, so stationary means that it's just staying still. I don't know why it's staying still. Resting gives me that impression that it's relaxing, it's, it's chilling, it's all that kind of stuff, but we don't know. After Beacon College, I hope to work for a zoo, hopefully for a few years, and get a master's. Maybe a master's in anthropology, but I'm kind of hoping for a master's in ornithology. So with the general education course that we offer here, um, they are the scientists in the field working to solve some of our issues. In the anthrozoology program, our courses are taught at an animal shelter, or at a zoo, or at uh, a state park. And so we're immersive, we're working side by side with the professionals in that area. And it's a great experience and learning opportunity for our students to apply what they're learning and also network with these individuals for future internships, jobs, and really to see how what they're learning in the classroom applies to the real life. Come on, let's there you go. Put right in your lap. There you go. Good job. It's, there's kind of a natural you know, attraction between students that have a learning disability and animals. Um, a lot of research has demonstrated that it's just kind of a natural fit and that our student population that we serve here at Beacon College really kind of identifies with animals and they really kind of share a similar bond with one another. Our students you know, and our animals just gel immediately with one another and it's a really fantastic experience to see.